guys, it's me, Jessie Shaw, London-based photographer and model sometimes. And this is a MacBook Pro unboxing video. So let's get into it. Now this purchase was very much needed. So up until now, I've been working with an early 2015 13-inch MacBook Pro. And as a photographer, I use my laptop all the time. So I've been itching for a machine that works. I'm usually quite a frugal person, so making this purchase was quite hard for me but I know it's going to be worth it as far as taking my work to the next level and just making me a more productive person overall. So what MacBook did I purchase? I thought to myself you know what if I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do it big. I'm gonna get myself a machine that can cover all bases and a machine that I can use for many many years to come. So I ended up getting myself a brand new 16 inch space grey MacBook Pro. I was gonna get a 13 inch MacBook Pro for portability's sake especially when I'm traveling but <laughs> That's not really going to happen anytime soon, is it? So since I'm mainly at home at the moment, I thought I'd benefit from a much bigger screen, especially for my editing needs. So let's get into unboxing this. space grey because I feel like it has a really clean and sleek finish and I just wanted something different and I feel like it looks pretty cool. Okay so now that my MacBook is finally on let's get into some specs. I ran into quite a few problems with my current MacBook. Editing on Photoshop has always been quite a slow frustrating process for me especially when I'm working with lots of layers. Scratch discs why you always fall. When it comes to making videos for you guys, it can also be quite a slow process. Another thing is export times. I'm just imagining what it's like to make a four minute video and not have to wait two hours for it to export. That's not okay. But luckily we have upgraded, so that will be a thing of the past anyway. And I feel like both of those issues, both of the photo editing, the video editing, are gonna be resolved now that I've gone from eight gigabytes of RAM to 32 gigabytes of RAM. Oh, that's what we call an upgrade. I've also gone from the Intel i5 processor to the Intel i9 processor, the one with 2.4 gigahertz and eight core to really just maximize my laptop's performance. I've also upgraded my graphics, which will really help with video editing. This is especially helpful for any Apple products. And because I might start using Final Cut Pro, I thought it was a good idea to upgrade just in case. Working with 256 gigabytes on my previous MacBook, it just wasn't it. Storage especially became an issue whenever I wanted to transfer raw files from my camera to my laptop. So I basically ended up going with two terabytes to reduce my need for an external hard drive. So I only really want to use an external hard drive for extra backup, basically. This MacBook Pro comes with a new and improved speaker system. It's going to be really useful on those days where I don't have my earphones with me. So let's test it out real quick. So currently we're a quarter of the way along. Halfway. I can't play it at its loudest at the moment, but it is loud. I'm going to be doing a bit of a comparison using Premiere Pro both on my old MacBook and this new one, and we're going to see if this new MacBook was worth it. I'm going to open Premiere Pro both on my old MacBook and on this new one. See how long it takes for both of them to open up. playback is like whilst we're editing so I can legit see all of the graphics I've uploaded, uploaded film, which as I'm editing so let's go to that same place 46 seconds what if it was put to fit just like it is on this one yeah there's a bit of lag there so one could say it's just as easy as there's definitely a lag whereas this is real-time playback this is amazing okay now let's see what the export times are like so to be as fair as possible they're both being exported at 10 56 and 19 seconds cool i'm gonna press export now and then i'm gonna set my timer Whoa, 43% and 4%. We've just jumped to 70% and still at 4% for the other one. 94%, 6%. We are just about done. Oh, it exported at exactly three minutes 
and the other one is still exporting and we're at 34 minutes left and we're at 8% so whilst that one loads you might as well watch this video just as an update we're at five minutes and it says that there's 26 minutes left and we're at 15% I managed to watch half of the video and this one is still going. This goes to show you it's a massive improvement, a massive jump. And I could keep this going, but I have ordered some food and I want to go and get it from downstairs. So yeah, we'll just leave this to keep going. I'm sure I'll eat my food and it will still be doing its thing, which is insane. Wow. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll be sure to link all of my specs down below so you guys can have a look as well as any accessories that I purchased. But yeah, I'm super excited for a much more seamless and productive workflow for both my photography work as well as the videos I make for you guys. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>